Hey, what's up guys? As you can see, I got a big, long package here. This is from Shout Factory. And if you can tell by the video name, this is actually something that's been... I've been waiting for actually only for about a month because I only started watching this show recently. I didn't open this, by the way. Like, literally before I turned the video on. So I haven't taken this out yet. This looks like it's the actual set itself. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what else do we got? We have a poster, right? Yeah. That possibly is signed. And then... What's this? This is just a flyer. Uh, it's dumb, whatever. And then is that it? I'm packing stuff for that, so... That's the end of that. Let's move this out of the way. Actually, let's do this quick. First quick, because um, we have more room. Um, as I said, um, this is, um, it's, well, as I haven't said yet, but as I'll say now, uh, this is the Gravity Falls Complete series in this bag here. But, uh, I bought it from Shout Factory, you get it, um, it's about two weeks, shit, actually, what day is it? Yeah, it's about two weeks-ish early. And, uh, when you order from Shout Factory, not only do you get it two weeks early, but you also get this cool, uh, lim uh I almost said lenticular, um, um, lithograph poster. Hold on. And if I'm lucky, it also came signed by the um, creator of the show. This looks like that. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, no. Damn. Oh well. Uh, on the website, it said he will randomly sign a hundred of these, but there's like thousands of them, so. It's unlik unlikely that he would have signed this one, so. Still cool, though. I do like this this image. I want to get this framed at some point. I have, like, six other fucking posters, though, that I need to get framed, so. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but we'll see. So that's cool, but that's, you know, it would be cool to get it signed, but that's not a big deal. That's just an extra. Put this back in. And that's all sealed up and ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, damn, I got a cough still. Now here's the uh, series itself. I haven't seen this yet. Hopefully it's. I just saw some uh, pictures online. I don't know what it looks like. Aha! Nice. This is actually a much thicker case than I thought I was gonna be. Show this fucking shit. All right. So this is Gravity Falls. The complete series, which is two full seasons of 10 epi 20 episodes each, so 40 episodes. I literally just finished watching the show yesterday. Um, and it was a really cool show. It's a show that I've been meaning to, to uh, check out for a while. I heard really good things about it. It aired in 2012-13 season, and then it was like 2014-15, to 15, and then like, wait, no. The release schedule seemed kind of weird. I watched it on Hulu, and I just I, I saw the air dates, and they were all... It, it went from 2012 to 2016, so... Over a four-year period, they aired 20 episodes, so... It was kind of sporadic, but I'm glad I got to watch them all at once. Um, but anyway, this is the set itself. It's very thick. Uh, I assumed it'd be in that flimsy, um... <clears throat> uh, like, skinnier cardboard set, like, um, the, uh... What do I have over there? The Amityville set, which is fine for that, of course, but this is a bigger, more important set, so... Let's open this up, because I am curious as all heck. Ah, shit. Can't get a hold of it. But like I said, I just watched this... I just finished watching it a couple days ago. I, I slammed through the entire series in, like, less than a month. Less than a couple weeks, actually. And uh, I, would, I would classify it as, like, a... Like an animated X-Files meets Twin Peaks meet Scooby-Doo, and I thought that was an awesome combination, because I love all of those, so, Ooh, what the hell was that, I just felt something, whatever, oh, right there, there, there it is, a little piece hanging on, so like I said, this is a nice thick box, this is pretty cool, actually, and here's the discs, oh, what's this, oh, this is the thing he got at the end, I'll open that later, is that all that's in there, that's it, I think, yeah, as you can see, just black inside, and here are the discs, that's pretty cool, these are the books from the author, the Dipper is looking at all season long. So disc three. Wait. Is it disc three? 
I think this is the, 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 the special edition disc. This is only available... <clears throat> Wait, is that right? I think this is only available with this set, the collector's edition set. I think they're going to release um, just a single... Uh, well, maybe they'll release them one and two, but I'm assuming they'll release a collector's set, not a, well, not a, collector's, a complete series set that'll be in stores. It'll just have these two sets and not this disc. I assume it's just one disc, right? Yeah. Special features. That's what I read online anyway. And as you can see, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six fingers, which is creepy. So this is set one. Oops, I fell right the hell out. Hopefully it's not broken. Yeah, just snap back in. So that's good. Disc one, disc two, and disc three. And that is Dipper and Mabel, the twins, that are the main characters in the show. That is Grunkle Stan, Great Uncle Stan. And that is Lil Gideon, which is a villain in season one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still coughing, guys. Gravity Falls season one. Nothing on the back, just like the books, I suppose. Yeah. Disc one for season two, that is Wendy, which is Dipper's crush in the show. He's kind of cool, though. Uh, that is Seuss. He is the handyman slash weirdo who works there at the Mystery Shack. Disc two. And disc three, that is the main pro antagonist of the series. Uh, kind of an enigmatic character, but that's Bill Cipher. He's a very not good character. He's a bad guy. Oh, actually, I didn't see. Does it have... Yeah. It has the synopsis and stuff for the discs. Uh, breakdown one, two, three, four, five, six episodes on disc one. Four, five, six on two. Wait. Oh, seven, eight actually on two, looks like. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on disc three, looks like. And there's Dipper and Mabel there with her grappling hook. That's cool. He's, see, he's holding the, um, the third book there. I think that's the one he finds in the show. In season two, same thing. There's Grunkle Stan watching TV with this gold chain. <laughs> same thing with the episodes on each disc. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any special features on these discs? Probably not, actually. I didn't even check. Yeah, it looks like it's just the episodes. So yeah, it's, these are featureless. Except for maybe some commentaries, I wouldn't. I don't know though. And then here, let's take a look. See, that is all the that's, that's um, uh, Dipper and Mabel again with some creepy characters in the background. Again, like a Scooby Doo feature and plus you know mystery, uh, 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 X Files type thing. Very cool. What's this here? This is like it's just a promo for some actual books. Lost Legends for all new adventures. That's cool. Not gonna buy it, but that's cool. Lots of books they've already released, and then I actually spot this journal. I don't know have it in here, but I like the show that much. I was curious. This is the special features on the special disc, the, the, the disc three. Uh, let's see, one crazy summer. Look back, gravity falls with Cash and Groove. That's apparently like an hour and a half long, which is apparently very, very cool. The Hirsch twins, Alex and Ariel Hirsch, remember their own summers growing up. That sounds cool. Between the Pines, behind the scenes special. I think that was released already on on TV. And the deleted scenes, the shorts, and promos. Cool. Lots of cool stuff. Actually, you know, I'll check this out now. This is what um, <clears throat> Dipper got, <clears throat> excuse me, in the very last episode, in the last scene of the series. So I guess this might be a spoiler if you don't want to know. But it's uh, something he got. Wendy gave him this. It said, see you next summer, and everybody, or a lot of the main characters from the show, uh, signed it. His, uh, Sheriff Blubs, Wendy, uh, Candy, Fiddleford, Tyler. Oh, that's, yeah, what's his face? Yeah. Susan Schmebulhock. That's the, the gnome. That's cool. Gideon, Derlin. That's cool. I like that. Just a nice little bonus thing. Put that in the, um, in the disc holder, I think.
and that goes up here. And that's probably it. Um, it is a synopsis in the back and stuff, so I guess I could just pause on that if you want to read it. Audio commentary. So yeah, it does have commentaries in all the episodes. That's cool. Uh, yeah, all the special features I just looked at. I think it's, it's on that one disc. And more? Well, I don't think so, but maybe there are, maybe there are special like uh, things to look at. Like, you know, like hidden Easter eggs and stuff, so I'll have to check that out. But uh, yeah, that's it. Very cool. Very cool show. I got this for... I paid more for it to get it early and to get that extra, so I paid about 80 bucks, I think. So it's a little steep. Um, you can get it on um, um, Amazon for like 60 Best Buy, I think the same thing, about 65 or so. I'm sure it'll be around 50 or less in the coming year or so, if you want to get it. I don't know about the collector's edition, but... Um, uh, the, the seasons themselves, when they actually release them by themselves, I'm sure they'll be a lot cheaper than this. So, if you're looking for the show, I recommend the show a lot. It's very cool. Looking forward to digging into these again, uh, at least for the special features and some of the auto commentaries. So, thanks for watching, guys. This has been cool. And I will see you again later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.